Hey guys, my name is June from 3Q Pros, and today I have my Octi Heatrans here, and as promised, I will make a tutorial video on how to solve this puzzle. So it is not very hard, it's essentially the same as a 3x3, it just be might difficult to understand that it's the same as a 3x3 at first. So, uh, don't mind me adjusting my camera right now. So, yeah, that should be good. So, I'm going to use my white one because my black one's pretty slow. So, let's scramble it up. So, before you scramble it, like shape shift it. You sort of want to do this and like scramble it up and stuff. But yeah, and I'll probably fast forward this part because you probably don't want to hear it. So yeah. All right. So this puzzle's pretty scrambled now. So let's get on with the first part. So the same on a, a normal three by three, which you can see here. Uh, we will be doing cross first. So choose either either corner. So the corners have four stickers on them, like that one or this one. I usually like to do this corner on it because uh, I don't know. I just like this corner. So what you do is this is the white piece. You just simply like here you can see the white piece. You just simply turn it into place. It's as easy as getting uh, the center pieces on the 3x3, three three, correct? If you see the camera shaking, just ignore that. Anyways, so the orange edge, uh, let's find that, here it is. So since it's on the bottom layer, you can just turn twice, it'll be in place. Uh, the green one here, it's already in place, but in the wrong, well, it's in the layer, but it's in the wrong place. So let's just move it up into the same place. And the light blue, light blue, light blue, light blue. Here it is. And put that in place too. So once you finish the first one, you actually have to do the cross once again on the other side. But since the cross... Well, actually, you don't necessarily have to do it. All you have to do is get all the pieces into the layer. So you want everything to be flat here like these ed uh, edge pieces have to be flat this one is not flat as you can see and it's actually in this layer so this is a problem so we have to get it in this layer so what I usually do is uh, something that I just randomly made up and it worked so what you do is replace this piece for another one that's already in place bring it and bring the piece you don't want here and then you bring it just back down really simple keeps everything in the cross the same and puts everything flat here so it's really easy nothing hard all right so before you really want to go into f2l uh you might get cases in which the edges are really weird i don't know messed up so in that case just what you can do is bring both layers up turn it once clockwise or counterclockwise doesn't matter then bring it back down so let's do the same on this one bring both up Turn it once, counterclockwise, back down and down. Uh, there is a chance you have to fix your edges up because mine are messed up after this. So, no big deal. You won't get that really annoying case. So, yeah, finish them up that easily. This bottom side doesn't have to be complete. As you can see, these two are not complete, but these four are. So, let's get back to F2L. So, I see this pair is already paired up, but in the wrong layer. So, I'll go insert it I think it's inserted like this I'm pretty sure it's confusing because it's shape shifts yeah okay it's inserted like that and then um, the light green light blue edge so it's in there so I'll just take it out and actually I matched it up while I took it out so I'll just insert it right away uh, at first it might be hard to recognize which pieces you need but uh, I'll go I'll actually fo follow you through one case so, okay, for some reason this one's already matched up. So for the last edge pair, I will help you guys out. So this is the white and light blue edge. So I'm just going to insert it. Okay, uh, looks like I inserted it wrong. Uh, for simplicity, we'll just take it out and insert it correctly. Because that's really simple. So it's like that. And what you want to do is find the edge piece that has both white and blue in it. There's... And these are technically corners, but only one corner will actually have white and blue in it. So white and blue. So it's obviously this one. So what I what I see is usually 
I bring it as, as close as possible and if I move it to the opposite side to where it is if I see both blue stickers blue sticker blue sticker that means I can just go ahead and go use the down right up trigger to match up the pieces and then obviously I have to insert the piece so as you can tell and if you can't, if you don't know how to solve a three x three, please go see our three x three tutorial first. Uh, annotation will be about here somewhere. So watch that video, and it'll help you understand what I'm saying. Because if you did not watch that tutorial, you are probably very confused. So now I finished almost a whole layer. Uh, there may be a few pieces that are reversed like this, but that's a very easy case to fix. All you have to do is bring both layers up. Bring bring. We do it twice and then bring both layers down and then what you can do is uh, bring both layers up again except use a different piece so you want to turn this away so let's turn it away and use a different piece bring both layers up and then rotate it twice again oh that's difficult okay there we are and now it's reversed and now you can match it back up blue and blue if you do it one more time both layers up 180 degrees, and bring it back down, it will be uh, in the right orientation. So let's do that again. So bring it back up, and then you see the orange pieces here, you don't want this, you want to face, use a different piece, so turn it away, bring, bring both layers up, 180, bring back down, now match up the orange and orange, if I can find it here, orange and orange, bring it back up, 180, bring it back down. So I fixed that case pretty easily. So I'm done completely one side, so it looks like I'm done, but actually, I'm not actually quite done. So uh, now we have to do the edge pieces. As you can see, there's one that is complete, and usually you will have one, but what you want to do in this situation is use this classic U permutation. I don't have a 3x3 with me, so I just did it on a 5x5. So just F2, match them up, orange, orange, and then down, down, F2, up, up, and then match it up, 1, 2, something like that. Uh, I didn't use uh, notation, sorry about that. But So it's the same on this case, except you want the solved layer on the left side. And you're going to perform a counterclockwise um, U-perm. So F2, counterclockwise turn, down, down, F2, up, up, counterclockwise, I mean clockwise, again, and then turn around. So it didn't work, so let's try it again. It, it, we will work the second time. So let's do that again. And after doing it a second time, it did indeed work. So, and the first layer is still the same. So now what we have to do is orient all of the corners correctly. They don't necessarily have to be flat, as you can see these two aren't. But there will usually be one corner complete, which is pretty useful. So what you want to do is the standard stoop algorithm. If you see our Rubik's Cube tutorial, you will know what we are talking about. So what it is, is uh, uh, in terms of um, speed cubing, it's the AA perm, but uh, my friends and I have sort of adopted the name stoop algorithm. So yeah, the classic AA perm just looks like that. Well, this is, this is the AB, but if I perform the AA, it'll get you the AB case. So yeah, that... Anyways, so you perform that algorithm on the octahedron. So you want the complete edge on the bottom left and perform the algorithm. So it goes like this. And all the corners should be oriented correctly. Except it didn't work the first time, so that means I have to counter have make another counterclockwise rotation. So we did that and now all the corners are um, in the right place. Now what we want to do is just a very simple trigger, uh, just down right up left down right uh, down left up right. So down right down left up right down left up right down left up right down right. Le oh my God up 
right. And what you're going to do is you're going to do it until it's complete, completely uh, flat. And then you're going to turn this layer to the next piece that needs to use the trigger. So I'm going to clarify, it's down, left, up, right. I might, I might have been saying it differently because, I don't know. So down, left, up, right, down, left, up, right. And uh, this may be sort of it's like two layer, two turns away from being solved, so just turn it once. And you should have a solved octahedron. So that was my tutorial on the octahedron. Hopefully it wasn't too long for you guys to uh, watch through, uh, sit through, that is. So next week I shouldn't be filming the next video. I believe Eugene will be doing the next video. So you don't really have to listen to me doing my reviews for one week. So yeah, thanks for watching this video. And... Yeah, I hope you enjoyed my tutorial on how to solve the octahedron, 3x3 three three octahedron. Thanks for watching.